In this video tutorial, we'll discuss whether rational numbers are closed under subtraction or not. That means if we take two rational numbers, let's say a and b, so if we subtract b from a, then is the result also a rational number? Or same if we do b minus a, is the result of this subtraction, is that a rational number or not? If it is a rational number, then yes, we'll say that rational numbers are closed under subtraction. To understand this, we have taken two rational numbers, 21 over 10 and 7 over 5. Now we have to subtract 7 over 5 from 21 over 10. So the first step is 21 over 10 minus 7 over 5. Now, the next step is you take LCM of the denominator, so that is 10 and 5. The LCM of 10 and 5 will come what? It will be 10. Now, since we have got the LCM as 10, so, sorry, so 10, 10 times, 10 times 1 is 10, so you will simply multiply 21 times 1, then minus 5 times 2 is 10, so this is 7 times 2, you get 21 over 10 minus 14 over 10, right? Now, since these two are now ra like rational numbers, because their denominators are the same, so this is 10 and this becomes 21 minus 14, you get 7 over 10. Now, <clears throat> the result that we are getting is actually a rational number. It's of the form p over q, where q should not be equal to 0, right? So yes, this is of the form p over q, and it is a rational number. So the subtraction of two rational numbers has given us a rational number. Let's take another example. We have minus 3 over 11 and minus 5 over 10. You have to subtract minus 5 over 10 from minus 3 over 11. So minus 3 over 11 minus, then we already have a minus sign here. So within the bracket, within a bracket minus 5 over 10. Okay, now LCM of 11 and 10. LCM of 11 and 10. And why do we do this? Because we want the same denominators uh, in both these two rational numbers. So LCM of 11 and 10 is what? 110. So the next step is, this is 110. 11 times 10 is 110. So this becomes minus 3 times 10 then minus within the bracket, this is 110. 10 times 11 is 110. So minus five times 11. Now, if you solve this, you get minus 30 or 110. This is minus this becomes minus 55 over 110. Now, if you open the bracket, then this becomes minus 30, 110. And minus outside the bracket, within the bracket is minus, so this becomes plus 55 over 110. So, now we have two like rational numbers, so simply put 110 here. And this is minus 30 plus 55, you get minus 25 over 110. Now clearly it can be further simplified by if I if we divide this 25 and this 110 by 5. If you want, you can simplify it. But I'll leave that for you. Okay, if you want to simplify it. But you notice again in this case. 
the subtraction of two rational numbers is actually giving us a rational number. So from both these two examples, we can clearly see that if we subtract two rational numbers with one another, then we are getting back, the result is actually a rational number. So we can say that if A and B are rational numbers, and if we subtract these two rational numbers, then the difference will be a rational number. That is the result of these two uh, subtractions will be actually a rational number. That is why, yes, rational numbers are closed, are closed under subtraction, are closed under subtraction.